Hello, Psyheads, and welcome to my new psychedelic tutorial. So, in this one, I will teach you some really cool Goa trend sounds in Silent One. They are really, really simple, but I will show you some tools that you can use to make a really simple sound sound awesome. So, yeah, take a listen to my new Goa trance track, and later I will show you how to create some sounds from it. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty goastic stuff happening right here. So, uh, I will teach you two sounds from this part. So, one is really basic and simple ARP. That sounds like this. And another thing is also a really punchy acid ARP that you can hear right now. So yeah, let's start. First things first, you need to add a silent one to your MIDI track. Uh, hello, my dear friend Silent, where are you? Oh, here. Okay. So we have our dear friend Silent one here. We go to the menu and we choose initialize presets. So we all we have is this blank so wave. Okay. So uh, the thing with this first up is it's so simple that I actually feel bad uh, doing a tutorial about it but the point is not this ARP but the tools I will show you how to make that simple ARP sound really really good so this is okay right here let's go to the filter we'll choose a bandpass filter um, we'll turn the resonance some really good yeah somewhere here, blah blah blah, and we'll choose the uh, 12 decibels uh, filter. Okay, so we will go here and we will pick this distortion. And I think these settings are okay, we will play with it. Like that. And now you go and you do some arpeggiator stuff. So, uh, mode will be step, velocity, step plus key, and here you create your own pattern. So, uh, here you transpose your sound in semitones. So, let's create just some simple stuff that will not necessarily sound good, but just so I can show you how to blah 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 yeah okay so we have this this is the pentatonics scale <laughs> let's choose 116 already sounds pretty cool really go out trend stuff Okay, so we will add a reverb, of course, and some ping pong delays. So now we have this cool stuff. And now uh, we will add, of course, EQ8 to cut the bass frequencies so they don't interfere with our bass. Okay, and now I will add those tools I mentioned before that can spice your sound really good. So, the tools 
are two really cool uh, free VST plugins from Flux that are called Bittersweet and Stereo Tool. So, uh, let's choose Bittersweet first. Uh, this plugin can spice up your sound really good or it, it can make it more gentle. So the sweet mode is on, the sound is more gentle. The bitter mode is on and your sound has a uh, much more punch in it, you know. So let's see, let's add some bitter. So this is without it. So yeah, the changes are really subtle, but in the whole mix it creates a big difference. And then uh, let's choose this stereo tool, and this this thing is really really good. Um, this thing can make your mix so much clearer just because of the width. With, with the, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, pronounce it correctly, but yeah, just because of the wideness of the sound that you create. So, let's see, you can see the sound, it's pretty in mono. So, the mono will look like this, this is like just mono. And what we are going to do is we are going to spread it. So it looks more like this. Now it's a lot more stereo. Stereo, stereo. And now this sound will sound really, really cool in your mix. And it's so, so simple. Okay, so let's try it. <laughs> Let's see how it sounds. Yeah, sounds good. So yeah, let's create another sound. So I think we will keep all these settings here in silent from the previous sound. And we'll just change one thing. Uh, actually, we will gonna add some LFO in here. So go here, choose cutoff A. Uh, where will be saw wave? Uh, and twist these knobs here. Uh, rate will be 116, so in the same rate as the arpeggiator here. That's, the, that's important. And right now I will turn off the reverb so we can hear real stuff here. This is that real punchy God trance acid sound. It's really so simple, but you got it. Well. when you hear it on the dance floor and you feel it in your spine like going through your butt like <laughs> okay never mind but um, the thing is I wanted to talk to you about reverb so we have this reverb here it's not really good so the thing with reverb if you put uh, the same reverb on all of your tracks uh, your song will be really boring so uh, the thing is you need to change the space your sound is so if every sound is in the same place in the same space 
it will become boring because psychedelic music uh, is like uh, shifting through a lot of spaces and parallel dimensions and if everything is the same then fuck it so for this sound i will i will take this knob for size and i will put it all the way down I will turn the diffuse down and reflect also. You see how much crazy stuff you can do just with a reverb. And that's the point, changing of the spheres the sound is in. So, I don't know, you can play with this for a long time, but I think this is good. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. So, yeah, let's see. So, be careful about which reverb do you put on your tracks. Don't make it all the same. And second of all, uh, make sure you have different stereo wideness in your tracks. So, this can make your mix much clearer because the frequencies will not clash if they are in the different stereo position you know and also well this thing is just really cool cool toy that you can use to make your sound much punchier yeah so thank you so much for watching psyheads i hope you will find this tutorial useful and i hope to see you soon